Dr. Mike, I'd love to hear your take on medicinal mushrooms and if you ever use them personally, but also with your clients and affecting performance, recovery, and using them in the human sort of movement world. Yeah, I found that they've actually been pretty useful. How I kind of sort of got into them when I was designing the Flex Diet Cert, I have a whole module on micronutrition. And so I finished it, the first version and I'm going down through the list. I'm like, okay, we got all this, we got all that. And then I realized I'm like, oh, wow. Like I left off the whole group of like fungi entirely in the first version. This is before it was actually released. And then I did some more research and talked to Jeff. I talked to Sky. I talked to those guys beforehand too. And you're like, holy crap, like how much of just, um, you know, the earth mass is some form of, you know, fungi, whether it's mycelial network, things of that nature. And some of the micronutrition is found in high amounts like beta glucans and other ones in mushrooms that aren't really found anywhere else because they're you know literally kind of a completely different you know they're not a fruit they're not a vegetable they're the, its own thing for lack of using fancy terms and i think they have a lot of other properties that it's hard to find in other locations so one of my favorite ones i use which does have a, a fair amount of data is uh, reishi and especially for immune properties and especially if I know athletes are going to travel or if like I'm traveling myself or if they're even, you know, getting to a phase where we're really going to push their volume, right? We know if we really push volume that their immune system potentially can take a hit. So anything that can help with uh, immune system, I think, can be uh, beneficial with that. So that's when I use a fair amount. There's mixed data on cordyceps. Um, again, that depends upon what type of cordyceps you're looking at. Uh, most of the ones that you, know, you guys have and are available is cordyceps militaris, not necessarily the one off the back of the, the caterpillar. <laughs> so it can be useful, I think. In all honesty, I've seen you know some people respond quite well to it. Anecdotally, some people, yeah, didn't make a huge difference. Lion's mane is pretty popular now for BDNF. There's some data on that. Uh, dosages tend to be uh, a little bit higher. And it's part about lion's mane too is it's pretty mellow tasting. I mean, you can add it to almost anything and it's kind of kind of blends in right away. Uh, reishi, I tend to go with the capsules on it because it is very bitter, which is one of the hallmarks of actual real reishi compared to some other brands wasn't bitter at all. And I'm like, oh, interesting. So, but yeah, real reishi is, I don't mind it too much, but it is very bitter, almost kind of a, a stringent tasting, but the capsules work quite well for that too.